uh, we face challenges every day in our jobs um, because Vietnam is considered as a major consumer market for rhino horn. Uh, we have lots of lost rhinos in Vietnam, but now we still, you know, have a negative impact as a, as a country. We have still have negative impacts on rhino population in other countries, and so we have to deal with. Uh, criminal network that smug try to smuggle rhino horns from African countries into Vietnam. So we have to deal with the criminal aspects. And this criminal networks usually led by very powerful, wealthy, rich people, which is, and they keep the, the hand clean. And so we have been working very hard, you know, partner with our governments, law enforcement authority in Vietnam and other country try to eliminate this uh, network and the kingpin and key figure of this network, but it has been uh, very challenging because, uh, like I said, they keep their hand clean and only soldiers, you know, and mules have been arrested. However, you know, we have been making a great progress and, you know, working with authorities. In the last few years, a lot of shipments coming into Vietnam has been intercepted. And more recently, most one of the leader of the major rhino horn tiger uh, uh, trade network has been arrested and has been in jail. And he's being prosecuted right now as we speak.